Hello and welcome to um, day 25 of Vlogtober. Well, we're not far off the end now, are we? So I think I've done quite well to keep up with it every day. <laughs> Hope everybody's well. Um, thank you for all your messages on the last two vlogs. Uh, yes, I'm fine. I'm back to normal now. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for asking anyway. Um, today I'm playing catch up really. I must admit though, I had a really good night's sleep last night. Didn't go to bed too late, but it wasn't too early neither. Went to bed probably about 11 o'clock. Um, did a little bit of knitting. I managed to get six rows done last night. And I listened to my book, Haunted Hibiscus, which is really good. Uh, didn't wake up till about quarter to ten this morning, which is quite late for me. I stayed in bed for a bit longer. I just didn't want to get up this morning. Um, basically then just potting around the house, not doing very much, had something to eat <clears throat> and then I decided I had to come down to the shop because I've got some orders to get packed up and off the post office. So I managed to get the half past two post which was good and then I decided to come back to the shop and um, sort a few things out. I needed to take some pictures of some bags. Uh, and a bit of fabric. I've just put a little bit of fabric on my website. Um, what is it? It's Christmas fabric. Actually, I'll show you. Just hang on a sec. I've been having a bit of a sort house. I've got some meter pieces of fabric, so I've just popped these into my web. Well, into my web onto my website, and these are meter pieces, and I think they're five pound. And it's trees, Christmas trees, and there's like a dotty background. I think I've got four of these pieces and I've got this very very cute cute fabric with the bunnies on and the deer snowy trees so I've got two of these on and I think that's five pound as well so I'm just having a bit of a bit of a sort out so I think there'll be a few more coming over the week if I've got um, enough it just depends what I've got on the shelf um, Yes, I'm taking photographs of some bags that are going to go onto my Etsy shop this week. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll take a picture of my little setup here at work as well. I'll pop that in now. Normally I take all my pictures at home because it's easy, I've got a bigger light at home but the space is limited in the conservatory because the Dow's out there working away on things for a show at the weekend <laughs> you're, just, you're tripping over everything out there, it's terrible but the light, I've got a big ring light for home and that's good whereas the one here is quite small but it does actually work, it's quite good so uh, yeah, so now I've got to pack all this away and then I can get myself home because it is now quarter past four. So I think it'll be ten minutes before I leave and then go home, have a cup of tea and then get some dinner on. I don't know what we're having tonight. <laughs> well, hopefully I will catch you all a bit later. Oh, I will. I'll be back on a bit later on. I've had two things arrived so I can do an unboxing and share that with you today so I'll catch you all a bit later and I've been back home a while I really don't know where the day's gone to it's ten past seven now <laughs> I don't feel I've done anything today really um, at the moment we're having a lot of trouble with our internet it's terrible it's really really slow um, and I've been looking online over the last couple of weeks to see if we can switch and if we can get a better deal which we're in the process now of switching we are going from virgin media back to sky but there's a technical problem on the sky website <laughs> at the moment so we're having a bit of trouble there but we've had virgin for oh as soon as it came out around here once it got once we got um fiber and it's been really good I haven't been able to complain about it at all. I mean, we'd only had our first box, I think, three weeks and it broke. <laughs> so that wasn't very good. But they changed it straight away. No problems. 
and I think the box has gone again for the TV. The internet is absolutely shocking. Jake's a gamer and we've now got a cable coming from upstairs down over the banisters in the front room round to the back of the box for better internet for him. But internet for me upstairs it's it's terrible, really bad. So I've decided to, to change because they've been doing upgrades. They've been doing upgrades on and off for a few months now and ah, it's just getting worse. It's been terrible. So I decided it was time for a change. Time for a change because they're charging me a fortune for what I've, what I've got and I've had enough. And a lot of people I think around here uh, are changing because of the same problems. So we could be without internet for a bit. So, you know, <laughs> we'll just have to see what happens. Anyhow, I haven't done much, as I said, but I have had two nice packages today. So I thought I'd share these with you because I was going to do some sewing. I was going to do some machine embroidery. I have seen a lovely design for some, I think they're Father Christmas ornaments, decorations, which I think the size of one of them would look really nice on the tea tray and on the windowsill in the kitchen and on the china cabinet. So I haven't bought it yet. I keep, I'm thinking about it, but I am going to get it. So that'll be for another day. And I thought, I don't really want to get sort of involved in machine embroidery tonight because I want to sort of have a bit of a relaxing evening tonight because part, well, I want to do knitting on my socks. I'm desperate to get on with these socks and I want to watch Strictly. I haven't watched Saturday's Strictly yet. And I also want to watch the Larkins. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to watch both of them tonight, so I need to pick which one I want to watch. <laughs> And I've also got to stitch Adele's frogs that I'm, I've made for her for a show this Saturday. So all they need doing is just a bit of stuffing putting in and stitching the bottoms up really, which is not going to take long. But I thought if I just do a few a day, then I don't get a bad hand then. So that's, that's another thing I want to do. So I'm going to open the boxes now off camera. So I'm not rustling. So I'll be back in a second. And I'm back. Well, the first one. I thought, excuse me a minute. The phone's ringing now. Well, I'm back again. That was my mother-in-law. <laughs> Anyhow, advent calendars. Normally, I have a Yankee Candle advent. Now, for those of you who have been following me for a while, you'll know the reason why I am not having candles this year. And for those of you who are new, I will just quickly tell you the reason why there's no candles. You will have seen in some of my vlogs, we have four cats all together. Charlie and Elsa are nearly, well, around about 10 and they are well behaved. They don't do anything naughty. Candles aren't, don't, they don't bother with anything. The black cats, on the other hand, Bramble's not too bad. She has a moment, so. Sailor. Devil by name, devil by nature, I tell you, he is the most mischievous little cat ever. They've only just sort of turned one in the middle of September. And I think if there's candles on, he'll see the light, he'll see the movement, and it'll be, ooh, what's that? I must investigate. So he'll either get his nose burnt, or he could knock it off. So the candles are out of the question this year, so there's no... Yankee Advent, unfortunately, because I really like my candles. I have got a couple of candles in the kitchen, bigger ones, which I have on only when I'm in the kitchen cooking. And usually at that time, the black cat, Salem and Bramble, are usually asleep. And up to now, they've not spotted them. They've not tried to get up on the worktop or anything, which is good, because Salem is a little monkey. And yeah, so that, that's the reason. So the advent calendar this year is different. I have decided to have a tea one. So this is from Bird and Blend Tea Company. Now a lot of YouTubers and bloggers and people on Instagram have these kind of teas. Now I've never had them, never bought any. I've seen them and thought about it, 
and then thought, oh, I don't know, what if I spend all that money out and I don't like it? Whereas in here, we've got 48 bags of tea and there's two in each box. And I thought that would be a nice change for me. And also there's, this came with it as well as like an advent thing online to do. So I'll have to read that and I might register for that. And also I got two free tea bags, which I can have now. Uh, this one is it's called a birthday cake. And let's see what it is. Oh, red. It says red. This means I'm great with or without milk. And it's completely caffeine free. And I have been looking into getting some caffeine free because I'm not supposed to have caffeine with some of the tablets I'm taking so and I wonder if this is what's keeping me awake at night because I do drink Yorkshire tea a lot people who have followed me before know that um so yes yeah so I'm looking forward to that I might have that I might have that tonight actually also and the next one this is the one I've been looking at online spice pumpkin pie now that sounds really nice um, most people who've been following me know I don't like cinnamon. <laughs> most teas have got cinnamon in. And, but this is black, so this means it, it's a great black tea and it tastes great with or without milk. So that's nice. <clears throat> and this has got Sri Lankan black tea, spices, which is cinnamon, cloves and ginger. And they're the three that I don't really like. But... Generally, I find in tea that they're not always too bad when it's a, a mix of things. There's carrot, vanilla pieces and natural flavouring. So I'm going to keep that one until um, Halloween. And that's going to be my little nice treat. So yes, and it's all, and the tea bags as well are 100% plastic free, which is good. So it means they can go in our composter. Because Yorkshire tea are not compostable, unfortunately, as, as we found out this year when uh, somebody put the tea bags in the composter. And when we dug out the compost in the summer, all the bags came out as well. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, I'm looking forward to trying that and I will share that with you each day of December. Right, I'll get on to the next one now. Now, I might change angles with this. I don't know yet. Now, when I opened my box, this is what I saw. We have a coffin-shaped box, which is good. Now, this and uh, this. <laughs> is a witch's hat, <laughs> which, which we'll do for next Halloween. Mind you, I think the kids will probably like that. Uh, so, this is from box of goth now she i think it's a lady she is on instagram and this one is all about hocus pocus now you know how much i like hocus pocus and i'm looking forward to watching the film on halloween that's all i ever watch on at halloween apart from everything else so we've got a card and we've got another one. Now on the back of this, it tells you it's Hocus Pocus, Pocus Pocus for October. October. So you've got a witch's hat, a wax cord necklace, an enamel pin, a tea light holder, Hocus Pocus earrings, um, an ornament, some soap, stickers, a witch sign, a Hocus Pocus lunch bag and it comes from boxofgoth.com right. right i mean this the box the um, coffin box i'm definitely keeping that that is going to come out every halloween so i might have like a spooky corner next year i might put that on top of the china cabinet the spookiness that'll be good so this is a little Hocus Pocus, I can't, 
<laughs> Hocus Pocus launch bag, which actually I would use. So you've got your Hocus Pocus, I need my lunch to focus. So that's brilliant. So it's, it's perfect size for taking your lunch to work. So that's nice. And then we've got our pumpkin tea light holder, which that will go on the china cabinet or in the kitchen. And this is the witch's hat soap. Oh, that looks nice. It smells nice as well. It's got, let's have a look, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't tell you what fragrance it says, but it smells very nice. It smells very nice. And we've got some stickers. So it's all, like it's a Hocus Pocus theme. And everything that's on her site is all geared around sort of goth things, Hocus Pocus, Halloween, things like that. I just happened to see it because I don't actually have anything for Hocus Pocus. I don't, I mean, Hocus, yeah, Hocus Pocus. I've only got my bag with the Sanderson sisters on. But I don't have anything else. I don't have any pin badges. I don't have anything. I don't even have a mug, <laughs> which I'm going to rectify that this week. I certainly am. I bought a design last night. Sorry for the rustling. Um, it's got, I think it's like the whole cast well the whole cast the whole main characters of hocus pocus with the sanderson sisters on binks the cat and i downloaded it and adele's put it on a pennant for me which is okay it's not brilliant but the pennant is it's a textured fabric so it hasn't turned out as well but it, it's fine we had to try it so sometime this some point this week i will get a mug so here we have some hocus pocus earrings which i'm going to put them in this week definitely be wearing them and we've got ah a nice hocus pocus pin badge of the uh, sanderson sister so well, that will go on my project bag now so that's my first badge trouble i never see anything like this i don't go out much though and then there's a little little hang in here and it says home is where you hang your broom so that that will probably go on my tear tray actually yeah i have to find some way of hanging that up but that's that's really nice and what else have we got oh we've got something in a little a little bag here let's see what this is it's all wrapped up in orange but ah Oh, that's nice. It's a little little necklace and it's got a little purple witch's hat on, which is lovely. Yeah. Make a nice um, charm for my bag, that actually. <laughs> if I don't want to wear it as a necklace. I'm not one for wearing necklaces that much. I don't like it when my necklace gets cold. And this, what we've got here, it's a little pumpkin with a witch's hat on so that will look lovely on my tear tray as well or oh, for decoration on top of the china cabinet so yes so that was a, a lovely nice surprise because it was it was a mystery box but like i said that will look nice and i might be able to put something on over the top of the sticker Maybe something hocus pocus say. I will go and get the pennant that Dale's made me so you can have a look at it. Well that took a bit longer than I thought. <laughs> I've been gone 10 minutes. Um, right, this is the pennant that Dale made. Now, it looks fine on camera. It is fine. Like I say, it's fine for me. I expected um, when we printed out, it might not be perfect on this, but... Adele did say it wasn't as big as she thought. Um, so it'll be fine on t-shirts and it'll be fine on 
a mug and things like that so that is what's going on my mug at some time this week and probably a coaster as well i've got to have the matching set haven't i so at the minute this is hung up in the hall with uh, all my pumpkin display that's on the china cabinet and yeah i love it i love the design so i'm, I'm pleased <laughs> Um, so I think I'm going to wrap this vlog up now because like I say I have got to do hand sewing for Adele and I want to do a bit of knitting and watch a couple of my programmes I hope. So thank you for joining me today and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye for now.